The Bible said, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O my strength and my redeemer. We are going to pray this prayer. Tonight, you say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let the words of my mouth today. Let the words of my mouth today. And the meditations of my heart. And meditation of my heart. Be acceptable. Be acceptable. In thy sight. In thy sight. As I pray. As I pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to share a quick something, a quick word with you. And uh, 
we're going to go for I don't have my time. Um, I want you to open your Bible to Genesis chapter 13, uh, verses 14 to 17. And I'm reading real quick. After the Lord had departed, the Lord said to Abraham, Abraham, now lift up your eyes from the place where you are and look to the north and south and east and west. For all the land that you see, I will give to you yeah. and your offspring forever. Yeah. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth. So that if one could count the dust of the earth, then your offspring could be counted. Get up and walk around the land through its length and width, for I will give it to you. So here we see that the Lord began to talk to Abraham concerning a promise. This promise, he says, he is going to give it to him and his descendant. The descendant were born. But the Lord was speaking to him concerning them. They weren't yet born. And the Bible says that after that conversation, things began to happen. Beloved, I want to allow you and I want to let you know that you are here on this earth for a reason and for a purpose. That's right. That's right. Before you were born, a prophecy has gone forth be before you. A prophecy, a word has gone forth before you. Because the descendant weren't born, but God has destined them to possess a land. Mm -hmm. so their destinies have already been written down everybody sitting under the sound of my voice there is a destiny for you yeah. All right. and what you are doing right now is living that destiny I want to talk a bit so God is speaking to Abraham concerning this promise when you read Genesis 17 down, the same God that promised Abraham is saying something here profound. He says, Then the Lord said to him, Know for certain that for 400 years your descendants will be strangers in a country not their own, and that they will be enslaved and mistreated there. I want you to catch this two words. The Lord has promised him something. And the same Lord that spoke to him is saying the same people that are going to possess the land are going to be enslaved. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. See? There is a destiny for you. Yes, I see Whatever happens along your path huh. is the will of God. There may be a twist. There may be some twists and turns to the plan God has for you. But that doesn't mean that you will not arrive or yes, I, I, I get to your destination. Yes, yes. I will in Jesus' name. So, if God is giving them something better, somebody will be asking, why are they going to be enslaved? Mm -hmm. Why would they be enslaved? Why should they be enslaved? Because the author of that plan knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And his plans are good and not of evil. Yeah. Listen to me. If that God knows that that plan will destroy them, he will not permit it. Yeah. That is why whatever confronted you in the year 2019, God knew that it will happen. 
I told you that it will not, it will not work. Break down in. Uh, take you away. Yeah. Amen. Take me out. Amen. Because if he knows it will destroy you, he will not permit it. Because he has ordained you, he has something for you to fulfill. So whatever comes your way, if it will destroy you, he will not permit it. I mean, if you it will kill you from not fulfilling that destiny, he will not permit it. Yes, right. Amen. That is why you are seated here. My 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 little message I want to give to you. I want to I want to give to you tonight is this: whatever you went through in the year 2019, whether good or bad, it was a preamble to a testimony in 2020. Listen to me. The reason why. The opposition is not to limit you. It is not to break you. It is not to it, it is not to hinder you, but it is to elevate you. Because listen to me, he is preparing you for that 2020. When they were going, see that their destiny was there, they were to possess the land, but in God's own wisdom. They needed to go into that slavery. They needed to go there before they would be able to want, go to that promised land. Mm -hmm. It was needed. It was a necessary process yeah. they needed to go through. Wow. And before time, God knew that there was going to be a famine. Yeah. In all the land, and Egypt is, the, is, is going to be the place where they, were, they are going to find food to sustain the generation. Yes. And that is why that process was necessary. They needed to be enslaved there because that was the that, that was the only place they would get food. Before time, he knew. So it was a necessary process. And yes. when they went there, God knew that that place is a place, the source of food to sustain them. Mm -hmm. And that place was the place they could sustain them and to grow into that army. Wow. To move them to that destination. Wow. Because they were few. Yeah. When they were moving wow. from the place into Egypt, the Bible said that direct descendants were only 70. Wow. And from Jacob were only 70. But when they were moving from uh, Egypt to the promise that they were 600,000. Wow. Over, when you count the ones that they were not directly. Um, um, uh, related to Jacob, they were over. So God sent them there to prepare them yeah. Yeah. as an army uh, wow. to go into that promised land. Why were they enslaved? Why for food? I mean, why did they go into captivity in Egypt? Right. One for food. Two to sustain the generation. Three. To grow and enlarge them over there in Egypt. Wow. For, for the glory of the Lord to be revealed. Yes. Because when they were about to move, I God performed that. so many miracles. When a servant Moses and that miracles revealed the glory of the Lord yeah. upon their life. Yeah. And the Bible says that every neighbor, I mean the neighboring countries around there saw the faith and it, it created fear in them. So when the children of Israel were coming, they were even afraid. Yeah, yeah. They were afraid. Yeah. See, whatever you went through in the year 2019, My God. I came to announce to you yes. as a prophet of God that it was something about oh, God. Jesus. It was a process needed for your own. Yeah. For you to go through to Hallelujah. possess that good thing God has for you to do. Whether bad or good, listen Jesus. to me. It is a necessary process. It is a necessary process. Jesus. Wow. Somebody will sit down, mm -hmm. think they went Egypt. There were so many things happening there. It wasn't comfortable, but it was a necessary process because there was a place that God began to grow them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they were moving out, yeah. 
They did not go empty handed. No, no. Yeah. They went with riches. See them, listen to me. As you are going out, the oh my God, as you are going out from 2019 into 2020, I said you are not living empty handed. Yeah. You, you are not living yeah. empty handed. As a left with gold and silver, you are living with gold and silver. Yeah. I said as a left, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says God gave them what? Favor. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me. They are their ancestors. Abraham, Abraham, then Abraham had already scouted Egypt. He was there. The Bible says when he was leaving Egypt, wow. when Lot, he was rich. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Now, when the twelve and the six hundred mm -hmm. was moving. When the 600,000 uh, Israelites was moving, they also were rich. Listen to me. God is not taking you from one problem to another. Listen to me. God is not taking you from 2019 from a problem into another problem in 2020. As you are entering 2020, I said, your, Oh my God. Your yes shall be brighter. Your yes shall be brighter. Amen. Whatever fought you 2019, yeah. 2020 shall be no more. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, my simple message Thank you. is that the year 2020, as you are entering, you have to hold the masterpiece of faith. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Because without faith, you can miss. That bless yeah. Yeah. There were people that they took to go scout the promised land. Only two came with a good report. The Bible says in Hebrews that they came with a good report because they, they had faith. The good report, it was, it was an outcome of faith. Wow. So they were preserved. Yeah. But the rest, they didn't see the promised land. Joshua and Caleb saw it because they had faith. Amen. All the children of Israel that perished in the wilderness was as a result of lack of faith. Yeah. Because lack of faith will cause you to be disobedient. Mm. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. Listen to me. I want you to enter into 2020 with a, with a powerful faith in the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And you shall conquer. The year shall be greater. Amen. No matter the mountains. See, you face 2020, 2019. 2020 shall be, shall be a different story altogether. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I pray for somebody today. May you receive the grace to walk brainlessly before the Lord. It is one thing for God to, uh, to make a covenant with you. And it's another thing for God to make a covenant. God can make a covenant with you. And by your own disobedience, you'll be forfeiting the covenant. Yeah. See, wow. by the God, let me tell you, See, the covenant was there, but some people missed it. Why? Yes, the Bible said, I wish I had time. See, the Bible says this. I want to find this scripture and to read for you. Where God established um, Abraham. Alright. Let me paraphrase. The Bible says God told Abraham that if you should walk blamelessly before me, then I will establish my covenant. Yeah. 
forever with she. So, it is one thing for God to make a covenant with she. It is another thing for him to establish a covenant. What it is for him to establish a covenant is your right to see. It's your right to walk with him. Okay. Right. So, as you are entering into the year 2020, make sure that your work with God is right. Yeah. You work right with him. There are so many things, good things in you that if only you can work right with God, it can be manifested. And it will be manifested. I pray for you. We see the place of God bless you before the Lord. Whatever stop your parents, I said the year 2020 is not stop you. Every demon that fought you, as you are moving from 2019 to 2020, ah, Jesus, you will not see them anymore. You will not see them anymore. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 13, verses 14 to 17, after the Lord had departed, the Lord said to Abraham, this is the street I was looking for, now lift up your eyes from the place where you are and look to the earth. Oh my God. Look to the north and south and east and west for all the land that you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth so that if one could count the dust of the earth, then your offspring could be counted. The 17, Genesis 17, 1 to 2 says this, when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me and, and be blameless. I will establish my covenant. Me, I will establish my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you exceedingly. Oh my God. So it is one thing for him to make a covenant with you. It is another thing for him to establish the covenant. See, without grace, today I said we seek grace to walk before him up. In the year 2020, yes. receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. And let every covenant be established on your life. I pray for somebody today. See, according to Genesis chapter 17, verses 3 and 5, the Bible says, Then Abraham fell, fell face down, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abraham, but your name will be Abraham. For I have made you the father of many nations. Today I stand on this altar and I declare over everybody sitting under the sound of my voice. As you enter 2020, yeah. you will no longer be called barren, but you will be called father or mother of many nations. In the name of Jesus, and the Lord establishes his covenant with you today. I declare over your life, anybody receiving this, I said you shall be called father of many nations. You shall be called a mother of many nations. You will no longer be called barren. I said you will no longer be called barren. Any sickness that has rendered you barren. Any, oh my God. Today I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 11, verse 3. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. Tonight, as I stand on this altar, as I stand on this altar, receive the same divine favor. As I receive the same divine favor, in the year 2020, you shall be favored. I said, you shall be favored. Among men, among influential people, you will be favored in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. According to Genesis chapter 1, 
verses 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Today I stand on this pulpit and I declare over your life you will be fruitful. You will multiply and subdue the earth in the year 2020. Did you not hear me? I said I declare over your life as a prophet of God you will be fruitful. You will multiply and subdue the earth of all my God in the year 2020. I declare a new season over your life. I want everybody to stand up. I want everybody to please stand up. According to Isaiah 45, verses 2, the Bible says that I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass and, the, and, the, and, the, and cut in asunder the back of iron. Tonight, I command every crooked places in your life to be straighter. And I arrest every gate of brass and, and bath of iron in your life. And I command it to break in the name of Jesus. Yes, break. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Verse 3. The Bible says this. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. And he yes. will give thee the treasures of darkness. Yes. And thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by name, I am, am, am the God of Israel. Tonight, say this after me. I take possession. I take possession. Of the treasures of, the, of darkness. Of the treasure of darkness and the hidden riches, and the hidden riches of, secret place. of secret places. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. See, Hallelujah. Chapter 20, 22, verse 29. The Bible says, When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and, and, and he shall say, The humble person. Tonight, I declare over your life when everybody is going down, Ooh. when things are not working in the year 2020, Ooh. everybody, you alone, you shall yes. say, there is a lifting up in my life. I said there is a lifting up in my life. 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 Tonight. Hallelujah. Tonight, I, I declare, I declare the arrest, arrest of every evil decree, of every evil decree, proclamations, proclamations, curses, curses, covenants, covenants, broken, broken by the superior blood of Jesus, Christ, by the superior blood of Jesus Christ, by the pure blood of Jesus Christ, because the Bible declares. In Lamentations chapter 3, verses 37. Verses 37 who is he? Who is he? That saith. That saith. And it's coming to pass. And it coming to pass. When the Lord, Lord commanded it not. Commanded it not. So, I Woo! so I decree the revocation, the revocation of, every of every evil covenant. Every evil Every evil decree, every evil proclamation, every evil proclamation over, my over my life by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus I, revoke I, revoke I revoke it. I revoke it in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah! Yes, yes, lions and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Ahab was on a horse. Ahab was on a horse. Thank you, Father. Elijah, the man of God was walking barefoot, Ooh. but he got to the destination first before the, the person that was seated on the horse. That is the power of God. When the hand of God came upon the man of God, he, oh my God, he, he got to the destination first before the man. The man 
visited on the hall. Today, in prayer. Tonight. Tonight. As the hand of God comes upon me. As the hand of God comes upon me. I receive speed. I receive speed. Over my life. Over my life. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Over my job, over my career, over my, career, over my marriage, over my, marriage over, my health, over my health, over every area of my life, over every area of my I life, speed. I receive speed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. to accelerate and excel in the year 2020, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. As I am about to enter into the year 2020. As I'm about to enter into the year 20. I pray. And I, I possess. I possess every goodness. Every goodness. In the year. In the year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
As I enter into the new year, I declare my elevation, and I declare that I'm moving from grace to grace, from grace to grace, from grace to grace, Lord Jesus, as I pray, anoint my head. Anoint my head. 